Talk about today another another great day for the polar bears down here. Another great day for the polar bear girls who actually uh, did about as well as they did yesterday. Held their own. We only got 15th place, which is uh, was the lowest we've ever scored. But maybe we'll to give some girls some incentive to uh, do more year-round swimming next year. Hey, and that's we talked about. If you're not going to win the whole thing, you might as well stay where you're at, right? That's true. Uh, now the boys in particular. Uh, we were on fire yesterday, stayed on fire again today. Some of the times were even better. Uh, Demyon beat his 100. Petri beat his fastest backstroke ever. And now I think he has incentive to swim for Pat Snively at Fairmont State. Yeah, because he was saying, he was wondering if he was going to swim. He's going to do that, and I, I think it's a good thing because his career shouldn't be over. Because he, he was saying, I don't know if I'm going to swim again. You think, you think you can, right? I think he can do it, and I think Pat will be, be happy to have him. And uh, his mother will get to see him swim some more because she absolutely loves it. I don't want her to get out of there. I don't think it's, he's got more time, Randy. So, and talk about him today. It's just he knew it was his, he knew it was his last chance. He tried to make the most of it. Those boys stayed calm and collected throughout this whole meet. Um, they were truly winners. Nothing made them nervous. He actually rose to the occasion. It actually, had, and, and in some cases, they swam better than they actually can. And Logan, kind of the same thing today with Logan. Logan right? Trey Kearns, um, and Logan, Logan said he was sick. He said he woke up with the with, yeah, with a fever. Yeah, well, he, sh he shook me up a little bit at lunch when they said uh, when I got. I, I mentioned that he had the fever, but he came in here and said nobody's stopping him. And then came to Quebec back with his best 100 freestyle time ever. Oh, it's his best 100 freestyle, 100 freestyle time. And, and one is uh, actually moved up from six, from eight to seven. So he got four extra points there. Okay, yeah, so obviously. So that's awesome. Then, then the relay did another good job there. Right, Gage Hanna did great on his relay, Trey Kearns, and of course uh, the first relay with Andy Hanson and, and the butterfly. So we, uh, we did great. I mean, we could have done much better if I had put it down. On uh, and what about the girls on? Uh, Zila was very consistent Zila today. Was consistent. Brianna was consistent with uh, Courtney Bright, and that's uh, basically you know, who we counted for the relay. Well, what about Zila? She's kind of been under. It hasn't been really talked about this year. She's she been very be, consistent this year. She, she's been real consistent. She hasn't been on fire as much as she was last year, but uh, I look for her to come back with a big senior season. And, and what about us? Uh, Brianna's kind of battled the sickness, and she she had, she had a good meet. She had a good meet too, and you know what? She may be this one been for Pat's nominee at Fairmont State too. And then, then Courtney, she's got a lot of incentive for next year, too. She's got a lot of incentive, and uh, Logan's got a lot of incentive. <laughs> and what about the relay team? How do you think they did the girls' relay team? The girls' relay team, uh, the first one did well. They, did, they, uh, they didn't hold their place until uh, very well. The second one pretty much held their places at a great time. Well, so it's another good, it's another good uh, another state meeting. Another good state meeting for Fairmont State. Absolutely.